it is fake it is false it is laughable it is ridiculous it is absolute nonsense assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters i hope you are well after the passing of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam numerous individuals have arisen asserting to be the rightful bearers of the noble title of imam mahdi destined to bring justice and eradicate oppression from the world it is essential to acknowledge that such claims have surfaced throughout the history and not all of them have been genuine many such claimants have also been sentenced to long terms in prison by the government of the country on charges of misleading innocent people while some claimants had hidden motives and concealed agendas others were tragically afflicted by mental illness over time however the truth have come to light revealing that these assertions were indeed unfounded and invalid Now recently a 45 year old Pakistani man Muhammad Qasim is in the news as he claims Allah has blessed him with divine dreams since his teenage years he declares to have seen prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his dreams he claims that his past dreams that relate to worldly matters such as the covid phase have come true and he has also predicted future events like world war 3 through his divine dreams His followers assert that he is in fact the Imam Mahdi. What is interesting to note is that there are videos and audio surfacing of many prominent Islamic scholars like Mufti Mank, Numan Ali Khan who are also saying that we Muslims should all unite and follow Muhammad Qasim as he is indeed the true Imam Mahdi. I will openly announce now that Allah has shown us the first major sign towards the day of judgment. Yes, I'm saying Al Mahdi has appeared although he has not yet become a current leader but he has emerged i will not conceal this matter because it is time for the muslim umma to know i'm talking about muhammad qasim bin abdul karim it should be noted that qasim has never claimed to be the imam mahdi he is only fulfilling the command of allah and prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him to share the mubashirat shown to him i want to clarify something about muhammad qasim bin abdul karim it is important for you to note that the dreams of muhammad qasim are special It is certain that all the dreams that he has published are something that is true from Allah and this becomes an announcement to the Muslim umma that the Mahdi has been seen from afar at this time he has not yet become a leader but he has been seen to be there may Allah protect him So is he really the Imam Mahdi if such great Islamic scholars have said something of this sort then surely there must be some truth in it right Let us hear what Mufti Mank has to say about his video clip where he himself states Muhammad Qasim to be the Imam Mahdi. My brothers and sisters, I thought I'd just come in quickly uh, to let you know that a lot of people have been forwarding me some fake AI generated artificial intelligence generated videos meaning the audio on it is fake and they've used videos to try and prove that someone is al mahdi and you know like we as scholars not just me but quite a few scholars have endorsed this whole thing and uh they they are trying to really push that this person is al mahdi usually when a person struggles with their mental well-being as a muslim they begin to feel that they have these supernatural powers they begin to feel that they are al mahdi i've come across more than 50 cases of people who really said I'm Al Mahdi I remember when I was studying in Medina Munawwara one of the guys took the microphone uh, in the university uh, in the masjid and said Ana Al Mahdi Al Muntadhar this has happened in the haram in in, in Mecca as well and and you know it's just uh, it's uh, they're going through some really stress you know serious mental challenges and so on and we pray for them and inshallah I hope that Allah grant them cure but the point being raised here is these people are gaining momentum they're enjoying it when they were engaged they said we will continue to use artificial intelligence to prove that this guy is the mahdi and his dreams or something he says is actually true it is fake it is false it is laughable it is ridiculous it is absolute nonsense so what i'd like you to know is don't fall for these things and at the same time what you must realize is artificial intelligence is being used to create a little bit of disorder and to uh, create misinformation al mahdi is not going to need to to lie he's not going to need to create artificial intelligence uh, voice overs of scholars of the world in order to prove he's al mahdi al mahdi 
is not going to be using YouTube and TikTok and all of that to try and announce his arrival. Uh, and so many other factors and Mahdi will be very knowledgeable uh, in the Arabic language, uh, very, very uh, knowledgeable of the Quran, the Sunnah and whatever else it may be. So it cannot be that uh, someone will just pitch up from somewhere, you know, totally clean shaven and, and, and claim that, you know what, I've been getting dreams. I'm Al Mahdi. I'm the one I'm telling you the truth and then have to lie in order to tell you that they're telling the truth. So it's so ironic. And, and, and the worst part of it is many of the people in Pakistan actually believe this guy. When I say many, I mean a, a, a number, not the majority, obviously a small minority, but it's a large number. Even if it's a, a thousand people, it's, a, it's too big a number. I mean, use your mind for a moment. Do you really think Islam will come about to teach you these things in code form and to come in and, and you know, hidden things need to be suddenly discovered? And, and, and you know, uh, Allah, astaghfirullah, forgot to reveal certain things. So he's got to show someone a dream in order to come and tell the rest of us, hang on, we forgot one thing. Here is a dream and so on. Whatever the Prophet ﷺ has said and done is already done. It is there. It is sealed, complete. We don't need more than that. So Alhamdulillah, I thought I'd clarify it because it's so silly. So many people are actually messaging me. Is it your voice? Is it your voice? It is not my voice. It is generated by artificial intelligence. The message itself is a total fabrication. Like I said, it is laughable. Literally, I laughed so hard that my belly started aching. Subhanallah. Brothers and sisters, in this era of rapid technological advancement, the creation of fake audio clips using artificial intelligence has become surprisingly accessible. These manipulated recordings can convincingly imitate the voice of a well-known personality, blurring the lines between reality and deception. However, the responsibility to safeguard ourselves from falling into such traps ultimately lies with us. The imposter has successfully garnered thousands of followers who assume that the real Imam Mahdi has arrived and that now all the suffering and grief of the world will vanish. First and foremost, Mahdi will not appear like Muhammad Qasim or the likes of him. Prophet Muhammad said, The Mahdi is from my progeny. His name and patronymic are the same as mine. Among all the people, he would resemble my characters physically and spiritually. Secondly, Imam Mahdi will never use lies to announce himself. He will not use artificial intelligence to create fake audio clips of Islamic scholars to prove that he is indeed the Mahdi. It is narrated that Aisha ta'ala anha said, No characteristic was more hateful to the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace of Allah be upon him, than lying. Thirdly, if someone claims to be witnessing divine dreams, he still cannot be trusted. The dreams of an individual cannot be considered reliable evidence unless validated and interpreted by a perfect individual who cannot be mistaken like the prophets. Many of his followers will still not agree with the points stated and will also not pay attention to the advice of Mufti Menk as their hearing and sight are intoxicated by the love of that individual. أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَتَكُونَ لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ يَعْقِلُونَ بِهَا أَوْ آذَانٌ يَسْمَعُونَ بِهَا فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَى الْأَبْصَارُ وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَى الْقُلُوبُ الَّتِي فِي الصُّورِ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give hidayah to him and his followers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us and our children from falling into such traps. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.